Hello, today I have a great recipe for you and it is my easy rustic sourdough baguettes. I'm really sure that you guys are gonna love this, this bread, it's, it's so delicious. And I wanna say thank you to Jessica Ramsey who made the sourdough conchas, the recipe that I, I shared with you guys before and she said just finish this and the conchas came out really good, soft and delicious. I was looking for a sourdough recipe for conchas and this was on point. Thanks so much and thanks so much, Jessica. And we are bringing more recipes, so stay tuned. To start this recipe, place 750 grams of water in a bowl. Add half of the flour. For this recipe, I'm using 500 grams of red flour and 500 grams of all-purpose flour. Add the rest of the flour and mix with a dough whisk until the flour is well incorporated with the water and no dry flour remains in the bowl. Cover with a towel and let rest at room temperature for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, Remove the towel and add 200 grams of sourdough starter at 100% hydration. Add 20 grams of kosher salt and start mixing your dough by hand. This dough is very wet, so it will be easier if you keep mixing and folding for a couple minutes in your bowl until the dough comes together. Cover with a towel and let rest for 30 minutes. Start stretching and folding your dough. Try to stretch your dough as much as you can. Cover with a towel and let rest for 30 minutes again. Repeat the same process at least twice every 30 minutes. You will notice how the dough becomes more elastic and shiny as you let it rest after every stretch and fold. After the third stretch and fold, cover with a towel and let rest for a couple of hours. After two hours, you will notice how your dough will look very bubbly and ready to be shaped. But what I like to do is to put it in the fridge overnight and let it proof to get a better and deeper sourdough flavor. So cover the dough with a plastic wrap and place it in the fridge. The next morning, take the bowl out of the fridge and let it rest for an hour so the dough comes to room temperature. Then take it out of the bowl. And divide it in three equal pieces. I like to use my scale to get even pieces. Flower one side of your table. On the other side, carefully stretch your dough and form it into small balls. With the help of a scraper, transfer your balls to the flower side of the table and let them rest for 30 minutes. Sprinkle some flour on top of your dough and cover them with a flour sack towel. To shape your baguettes, fold 
one of the sides of the dough into the middle and press firmly but carefully with your fingers. Turn the dough around and repeat the process. Now fold one side to the middle of the dough again and press with the heel of your hand. Repeat the same process as you turn the dough around. Turn the dough and now you can roll it on itself from the center to the extreme to form a long log. Be mindful of the size of your oven. I'm making my baguettes only 15 inches long because my pizza steel and my oven only allow me to make them that big. Place your baguettes on a flour baker's dog kush or you can also use a kitchen towel. Check out the description of this video to get more info about the equipment that I use. Cover with a towel and let rest for about 45 minutes. Meanwhile, I am placing my pizza still in the middle rack of the oven and preheating the oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a pizza still, you can use a baking stone or simply bake your baguettes on a cookie sheet. I'm using parchment paper on my pizza peel to easily transfer my baguettes to the hot oven. Carefully place the baguettes on the pizza peel. Make sure they are separated at least 2 inches. Using a baker's lane held about a 45 degree angle, make four lengthwise slashes in each baguette. Place a cast iron pan on the floor of the oven and fill it with boiling water. Then, load the baguettes into the hot preheated oven. You can sprinkle some water on the baguettes to create more steam. After 20 minutes, get the cast iron pan out of the oven and turn the baguettes around so they cook evenly on both sides. Turn down the temperature to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for about 20 more minutes. To have extra crispy baguettes, turn off the oven and leave the baguettes to cool inside. Make sure to let the door of the oven open a little. After one hour, take your baguettes out of the oven and let them cool outside for a little while before cutting them. I guarantee you're gonna love this bread. These rustic sourdough baguettes are perfect to eat warm with your favorite toppings. One of our family favorite toppings at home is Gouda cheese, but you can choose any toppings that you like. Or you can just make some garlic bread and eat them with your favorite pasta. The possibilities are endless. Look at this, this is a delicious bread. I really love it, it's, it has become one of my favorites already. So I hope that you guys can, can make it and if you, if you make this bread and if you try this recipe, just let me know about your comments. Just leave your questions in the comments and I'll try to answer to you as soon as possible. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click on the notifications bell so that you can see my upcoming recipes. Thank you for watching.